In part one of our lesson on equations with inverse trig functions, you will learn how to solve equations involving one inverse trig function. A quick reminder that if y is equal to the sine inverse of x, that means that the sine of y will equal x. And we will use this inverse relationship to solve equations. Also, we have an alternate notation for sine inverse of x, and it equals arc sine of x. And we'll get some practice using that in this lesson. Let's take a look at this first example where we have to solve each equation for x in terms of y. Here we have y is equal to 10 cosine of x and we want to solve for x. So of course we know that means we have to get the x by itself. So the first thing we would want to do is divide both sides by 10 so now we would have y over 10 is equal to the cosine of x. Now to undo the cosine function, we will need to take the cosine inverse of both sides. So we will take the cosine inverse of the left hand side which is y over 10, and that will equal taking the cosine inverse of the right-hand side, which is cosine of x. Now, looking at that right-hand side, a function and its inverse function undo each other, so we get x, and on the left-hand side, we have cosine inverse of y over 10. Another way of stating this is that x is equal to cosine inverse of y over 10. So the equation has been solved for x in terms of y. In this next equation, we are given that y is equal to one-third tangent of 4x. So first, we will multiply both sides by 3, and we get that 3y is equal to tangent of 4x. To undo that tangent function, we know we are going to have to take the tangent inverse of both sides, so we will take the tangent inverse of 3y, and that will equal the tangent inverse of the tangent of 4x. On the right hand side, tangent inverse of tangent 4x becomes 4x. The left hand side stays the same, tangent inverse 3y. Next we will divide both sides by 4, or you can think of it as multiplying by 1 fourth. and we have one-fourth tangent inverse of 3y is equal to x, or we can state it as x is equal to one-fourth tangent inverse of 3y. And so we will have solved the equation for x in terms of y. In this example, 
we are being asked to solve for x given the equation cosine inverse of x is equal to sine inverse of one half. Well first off, hopefully you recognize that sine inverse of one half is something we can evaluate. Looking at our special angle chart, we go to the sine row where the value is one half and we see that we are going to get pi over six. The left hand side remains cosine inverse x. To solve for x now, we have to undo the cosine inverse function, so that means we will need to take the cosine of both sides. So we will take the cosine of the entire left hand side, which is cosine inverse x, and that will have to equal taking the cosine of the right hand side, which is pi over 6. On the left hand side, we know cosine of cosine inverse x is equal to x. On the right hand side, we know that the cosine of pi over 6, if we look at our special angle chart, we go to the pi over 6 column, go down to the cosine row, and it is radical 3 over 2. In this example, we have to solve for y. We are given the equation 4 thirds cotangent inverse of the quantity y over 4 is equal to pi. The first thing that we will need to do is multiply both sides by 3 over 4. So our equation becomes cotangent inverse of the quantity y divided by 4 is equal to 3 pi over 4. Now to undo the cotangent inverse function, we know that we will need to take the cotangent of both sides. So on the left hand side, we take the cotangent of the cotangent inverse of y over 4 and that has to equal taking the cotangent of the right hand side which is 3 pi over 4. On the left hand side cotangent of cotangent inverse undoes each other and we are left with y over 4. On the right hand side we have the cotangent of 3 pi over 4. Now we know that 3 pi over 4 is in quadrant 2. We know that the reference angle would be pi over 4. We can use our special angle chart to get that the tangent of pi over 4 we know is 1 which means the tangent of 3 pi over 4 is negative 1 because it's in quadrant 2 and then we know the cotangent of 3 pi over 4 is just going to be 1 over the tangent so 1 over negative 1 is equal to negative 1 Now all we have to do is multiply both sides by 4 and we have that y is equal to negative 4. In this example we will solve for y and we are given the equation arc sine 
of the quantity y minus pi over 2 is equal to negative pi over 3. So just a quick reminder that the arc sine of anything is just alternate notation for the sine inverse of that anything. So to undo the arc sine function, we are going to take the sine of both sides. So we will take the sine of arc sine of y minus pi over 2, and then that will equal taking the sine of negative pi over 3. On the left hand side, the sine of the arc sine, they will undo each other because they are inverse operations. So now we have y minus pi over 2 is equal to, we have to do the sine of negative pi over 3. We know that negative pi over 3 is here in quadrant 4. We know also that our reference angle would be pi over 3. Looking on our special angle chart in the pi over 3 column and the sine row, the value is radical 3 over 2, and we know in quadrant 4, sine is negative. To get the y by itself, we will add pi over 2 to both sides. So we have y is equal to pi over 2 minus radical 3 over 2, which we can write as one rational expression. y is equal to pi minus radical 3 over 2.